Hey, Sean. Super excited to have you here today. I know we've been at LPTs a little bit over a month now. I really wanted to get you over here and just for us to really kind of talk about as a team leader, as a team member, why we moved over to LPT Realty. And you have been here as my long, you're what, my longest agent? Longest agent, almost six years. Yeah, coming up on six years, it's been a long ride. Long ride, but so, I've been through it all. That's right, KW, EXP, and now LPT. Correct, yep. Awesome, bro. But I just wanted to, you know, to tell, you know, the people out there exactly, hey, as a team leader, why did I make the decision? And then why did I go to you guys as my leadership and kind of go, hey, this is what I'm thinking. I bounced the ideas off you guys, and you guys were like, Shit, this sounds good. Makes makes perfect sense. There, there's no reason not to. So let's just talk about it just for everybody. What do you like about it? As, as a team member, a hybrid, you're one of my top producing agents, right, as a team. Been here a long time. What was it about it compared to, like, let's just say EXP because that's where we came from, right? Sure. So what was it about it that you were super excited for? You, you know, biggest thing for me is value. How How is the next brokerage going to provide me as an agent value um you know rev share stocks always great right that's 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 great that's where the real estate's going but what kind of value is lpt going to give me and the thing that jumped out at me right off the bat was the listing power tools box right the marketing and the uh, the materials in that box probably cost an average agent between 500 a thousand dollars plus depending on the listing and what they're doing and it's all completely free of charge for us so that saves me money in my pocket right there and then the digital marketing i know that's where real estate's going that's where marketing is going people are starting to go away from the the printed material and going into the digital and so with four hundred dollars i could purchase their digital marketing plan has a um um, a geofencing from about 15 miles from your listing and it, and it pops up everywhere. And, and that's what really got me is, is that value piece and to help me grow my business, to help me get more listings and, because listings last, right? That's, that's what you need to do is listings last. Oh. And so that's what really got me excited is that specific value piece. There's a ton of other value pieces that brought, that, that gained my attention, but that was the, probably the number one priority that got my attention. Right on, that's good. And that's kind of what I, I do for the, you guys as a team member, right? I wake up every single day, I'm not in production, right? I give all that to you guys to do. And it's like, how do I add more and more and more value? And looking at where we were at, and where we were, what we wanted to move forward in the future, I was like, well, how do I give more value? And I just looked at that, I was like, well, that's super cool. Because it's branded to you guys, right? It's not right. branded to me and all that crazy stuff, it's branded to you. It's one that, it's highlighting you as the agent. Um, you said something interesting about that digital marketing, which is super cool, right? Right. Have you played around with it? Have you used that hundred dollar yeah. add on and all that? Have you, have you seen it? Yeah, I, I used it for my listing up in incline and it was great. I got a report after uh, two weeks of how many hits it had, how many views it had, how many unique clicks it had to look into it. And then one really cool thing I was sitting in my home the other day, um, scrolling through one of the news channels on, on, uh, it was like Q2 News or something, right? And then all of a sudden, one of our team members, Katrina, her ad popped up right in the middle of the article. So I'm like, oh, no kidding, there it is. And it was on a news site. It's not on Facebook, it wasn't on Instagram, it wasn't on any of those. It was like, legitimately, I was scrolling through reading the news and it popped up. So what did I do? I clicked on it because I wanted to see how it was on the other end, right? Being on a maybe a consumer end, clicked on it, it took me to her page, LPT page, um, how to contact her, filled out stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, as a value agent, and then, and I filled it in because I wanted to see how it would respond on her end. And then she sent me the links back of what it looked like in an email. And so I got to see what it looked like on both ends and it was pretty cool. All right, super happy with that, how that ended up. Yeah, it was super happy. Cool. So you can click on the property and get property information instead of showing. And then um, you can also just put in there that you're interested in, in LPT. And so it kind of hits on both sides. It's kind of yeah. really cool. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. And then, what I really like for this month is their August listing blitz, right? They're doing for this, and, you yeah. know, for, for their one year anniversary, basically they, they did this huge, massive thing for all you guys. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. The listing blitz, it's, it's crazy. So, um, in, in special markets, right. And in, in all the markets, not all the markets, but in most of the markets, they're paying for your photography. They're playing for that free listing box. They're paying for that, that hundred dollar digital marketing. They're paying for that also. So everything that we would typically be paying for, um, they're blitzing out because they, again, they agree listings last right and that's what lpt stands for is listing power tools yep. right and so that's what they want everybody 
everybody to specialize in. And so they are doing a blitz. Robert Palmer is, and, and the company is paying for all the stuff that we typically pay for, which is very little, um, but also paying for the photography, which is great. I mean, that's another grand in my pocket right there if they're going to pay for our photography. You did forget one thing, buddy, though. What's that? That prospecting pack. Oh, too, the prospecting you're... pack. Yes. That's I, right. Yeah, I totally forgot about What is that? Another couple hundred pieces of just marking material, the door, door hangers, knocking, all that stuff? Yep, door hangers, door knocking, mailers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, and there's what, another part. What I loved about that, too, is especially like you, you're a high performing team member, right? And so you're super busy out there getting listings, all that stuff. What I love about all that material, it doesn't have to be to you. We can use one of our new agents that are coming up that are just brand new to the business. We can brand them and they can go out and put up, you know, 200, 300 doors, all the door hangers for that brand new listing that just went up. Absolutely. You know, open houses, all of your flyers are already done for the open houses. We don't have to produce those anymore. And they're high quality, high end flyers. And then before the open house, they go knock that neighborhood with all of the door knocking material that they already gave us. We don't have to produce it. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already there. All they have to do is go knock a door, hang a door hanger, have a conversation and, and move on. And if, you know, I'm too busy, it gets them exposure and, you know, it allows the new air agents to partner with a more experienced agent and start getting them business too. So it, it works out for both everybody. Yeah. For both sides. I think it's a big, huge win. And yeah. Once again, it goes back to that whole value piece, right? Exactly. Yeah. The other thing that I really like about for you guys as a team member, and it wasn't something that we're used to. I do know some teams across the nation get it done this way, but it, we came from KW. We had to wait three or four days for a check, right? To get deposit, all this stuff. And then uh, with EXP, they're fairly quick. It was like a 48, One 48, yeah, yeah, something like that. Direct deposit. It wasn't too bad. But what I really like with LPT is that you guys literally at your closing, meaning your agent, you guys are getting your commission check handed to you right at the table, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So with with EXP, let's just talk about that real quick. We had to, you know, fill out our information, um, get our CDA, approve the CDA, and it got sent back and forth. And then they would, um, the the title company would fax or. or email over a copy of all the checks it would go back through cda and then you know they'd pay you in about 24 hours after that so it would be about two maybe three days depending on the day and depending on how quickly everything got accepted if they're super busy now everything is done ahead of time about a week prior to closing so as soon as we go to closing at title we're handed a check at the end of closing for our commission so we get it the same day as we close which is phenomenal yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not direct deposit. Some people might complain that it's not direct deposit, but it's a check. You're getting paid the day you close. Yeah, actually, you know, I was talking to a couple of the team members already. They actually like it because on, they have their mobile app just like everybody is now, and they just scan the check, and it's deposited right there in their account. Right. So it's, it's working out really well, and I, I, I'm really happy with it. So it, it seems like it was going to be yeah, really yeah, yeah, it's great. It, it's, 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 it's awesome just to have the paycheck and not have to wait and wonder when it's coming in, wonder everything's going to get approved, wonder when we're going to get our direct deposit, watching your emails left and right. You just know you're getting paid the day you close well as a team leader you know what i love more about it than you, you probably realize what's that that you got to make sure your files 100 percent clean uh, that's, that's to true. get your check at the closing table that's true right? it does make sure our files 100 percent clean by the time we go to close correct right. so i love that so we can't always uh we're not chasing paperwork down the road either correct yep so here's another thing that i thought was really important um was how do i help you guys once again we talked about value but longevity and how's that work out for you guys down the road with, especially with a company that issues stocks and I, we talked a little earlier about it but definitely uh i don't care what brokerage you're at you need to be at a brokerage that there's rev share and there's stock and they're giving you stock and so when i saw the stock plan for lpt the first thing i thought went awesome the average agent actually is rewarded here mm -hmm. not like some other rev share companies where it's only the top one percent so as an agent for yourself on the on the team right what do you think about their stock program? I think it's absolutely amazing. I mean, if you look at the, the amount of stock they give you um, compared to EXP, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, we were at EXP for three years, and I think my earned stock that I was given by EXP, not purchased, not, you know, 10% at the end of closing, but my earned stock for my awards, right, was very little. I think I had 77 or 79 shares of stock that I was awarded by EXP over three years. I close one transaction with LPT and I get 100 shares. Yeah, right. No, right. Amazing. So, so in one transaction, I just already got as many shares as EXP gave me in three years. Right. So, I mean, I have the opportunity to make over 1,200 shares of stocks by just closing 15 real estate transactions a year. Yeah. No, and it's, it's that the first deal is 100 right now, and that's currently of, of August of 2023. Correct. But yeah, you're, on your first deal, you're getting 100 shares. Your, your third deal, you're getting another 100 shares. And then your 15th is like another 1,000 shares. So right. it's kind of just like, wow, right? Yeah, fit, do normal real estate, close 15 transactions, and I'm getting 1,200 shares of stock. Yeah. 
I mean, that's that's just phenomenal. Yeah, it's three years the best, all that good stuff. But in the end of the three years, you should have several thousands of shares, not just the uh, 70 that you got in three years, right? You'll have several thousands of shares. And who knows what the price will be for all that stuff. But, you know, it's something down the road. It's another investment. It's just another opportunity. And like you just said, just doing good real estate business. Yeah, all I'm doing is real estate. I'm not recruiting. I'm not doing anything extra. I'm not doing anything special. All I'm doing is real estate closing transactions as a real estate agent. Love it. Yeah. And, and you know, going on to that, there is one other way to, to earn stock, and that is the recruiting portion. And, you know, again, I just recruit one person over and I get 180 shares of stock. So, again, it, it just blows me away the amount of stock they're providing for us agents is, is a way to build our wealth down the road for our future and retirement. And, you know, have you ever been to a retirement party for a real estate agent? Of course not. We no. always hear that one, right? Right, right. And yeah. so this is a possible way to possibly retire later down the road. Yeah, because what? Been here, what? We've been here just over 30 days, I guess now, 45 days. Yeah. How many people have you already tracked? Because I already know that you have a few people in your downline currently, right? I've got three in my downline okay, currently. cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Right off the bat. Boom, boom. Here we go, right? Exactly. All right. So here comes a big piece, especially as a team member. And I had about five or six of you guys decide to do this. And I don't want to come from me or say, I want to hear it from you. So with LPT, there is no team caps, right? Correct. We only have two plans. You have a rev share and you have a, a business builder plan. Absolutely. Now on the business builder plan, it's a $5,000 cap. It's $500 per transaction. Not to mention, by the way, no monthly fee, no sign up fee. So really cool stuff with all that. But there's also the rev share side of the house. Tell me why you as an agent, or a team member, right? Why did you choose the rev share side over the business builder side? Well, you know, I think both sides have a really good advantage. As a business builder, you're getting right into the business. You're a new agent. No reason why you don't go into the business builder. $500 a transaction, 10 transaction, 5,000 cap. Great way to build your business and keep a lot of money in your pocket. Now, for agents that do a lot of transactions like myself and a couple others on the team, it makes more sense to do the the um, the rev share program, 80-20 split, 15,000 cap, because I am going to be building a downline, right? And that's my goal is I want to have some rev share coming in. I want to build that downline. And with the rev share program, I get to get that rev share off of those agents that I bring into LPT. And so I'm basically planning on making up the difference between that $5,000 and $10,000 cap with rev share and then building off of that. So that that really was, was a good piece for me. I mean, if for some reason something happens or I, I decide to trans out of real estate later down the road, I can stay in the same company instead of finding another flat fee brokerage and I can just transfer back over to the business builder and, and go on my wear, merry way in my retirement years if that's the way I want to go 20 years down the road, 10 right. years down the road. So yeah, I, it, I can go both ways. Yeah, you hit on something really good there. It, and the cool thing about that program is you can switch back and forth between the two, right? Correct. And, and then we know by being at EXP for three years, not everybody on the team wanted to attract it. Was it their thing to do, right? But as we progressed at eXp over those three years, what we learned is there are certain people that started to pick up speed with it. So it's really cool that if you start as a business builder and you start to attract and you bring on like 10 people, then it, that's the time that you kind of want to move over to that rev share. Exactly. And I love that Robert was forward thinking on that one and said, hey, let's introduce this, let's let, that give you guys an option to move between the two programs. Yeah, and I, and I think that's what's, what's great is it, it does give you a way to build your business within one brokerage going from business builder to rev share attracting people and they're not making you force feed recruiting down your throat i mean not recruiting is not for everybody right, right. there are some people that like to go out there and talk about the brand and talk about the company but there's that just want to do real estate so that's why this is such a great company is because you can do both you can do either or or you can do both yeah I, and it's, it blows my mind that some of the haters out there are like oh you guys are a flat fee i'm like uh, no we're a hybrid we're a hybrid of both, and I love that we give the option to our, to our agents that you get to choose. We don't get to decide. Like for you, I didn't come to you and twist arm like, yo, go this program. I sat it down, explained it, and you guys came up with your own decision and decided, hey, this is the best path for me and my business. Exactly. I got to run the numbers in my business, understood what my goals were moving forward. Do I want to recruit? Do I not want to recruit? Do I want to build my downline? Do I not? You know, where am I going to go in my business? And it was allowed me to be more free and figure out which direction I wanted to go within LPT. Yeah, and the other cool thing I love about you guys is one of the reasons... Now I have another video about it, uh, you know, about EXP and how I didn't think it was really helping the average agent, right? And that's why I love the qualifiers that I saw with LPT because my team member, like as yourself, like you brought three people on already, right. so you already have three levels to open up. Exactly. And these other rev share companies that 
you wouldn't even have your, your second or third level opened up. Correct. And so it really does help out the average agent, especially like a team member like yourself. Yeah, and it's much easier to get to those lower levels, like level seven, right? Much easier than it was in EXP, um, where it does bring in more streams of revenue for me later down the road. I mean, I may only have three now, but all it does is you just have to find that one agent that goes in and brings in 200 agents beneath them, right? And then that, I've already got it unlocked. Yeah. So where before, if I didn't have five unlocked and I find an agent in one of those first five and I didn't have five unlocked, I don't get the benefit from all that bottom area tier, but now I already do. Yep. Yeah, so it just brings in, it makes sense. It's everything just makes sense. Yep. All right, so talking about the attraction piece and all the stuff that we do have with the LPT, I think the probably the phenomenal part is even those agents that aren't huge on the attraction piece, LPT is sending out that recruit assist so every time that you close a deal and you're closing lots of deals on the oh team, yeah that means that other agent is getting e uh, getting mailed right all this information about LPT yep. uh, Robert already has a call center they're calling and reaching out to agents on behalf of you for those agents that you close a deal with right correct I mean I, I think I've already closed three transactions under LPT and um, I've seen some of those go out and I've had a couple agents call me, hey, tell me more about LPT. One of them was an agent that I closed with. Tell me more about LP LPT, why did you guys move? So it, it just plants the seed. Um, even if you're not big into recruiting, you're not big into the first one talking, they're gonna get an email. And you know, if you had such a great transaction, they're gonna be like, well, tell me more about this. It's a brand new company. It's brand new to Nevada, brand new brand new to the West Coast, right? right. So, so tell us more about this. And it just plants that seed for them. And if you had a really good transaction, action good communication with them you never know what it can end up so it helps with that portion if you're not strong in recruiting right it, it, it's kind of blowing my mind especially for our town you know we're not we're a little bit unique than a bigger city and stuff like that but in our town at least there's no one in our town that's offering like no monthly fee right nobody oh, nobody absolutely. i know of no. i mean if there is maybe something small but i don't know of any no nope. not the big players in town and no. so that's really eye-opening and blowing up you know in our at least our town saying hey there's no monthly fee. There's no sign up fee. They're not trying to gouge you every single month. And especially for a newer agent, there's nothing out of your own pocket until you close on your very first deal. It's expensive enough to get into real estate and get going. And so I really love that they're doing that and they're explaining that to, you know, those those agents that you're closing deals with. Well, well there's no there's no monthly fee, but there's also no startup fee. So for those new agents, I remember when I started with KW, I think I had to fork out $2,500, $3,000 just to start. And a lot of these new agents don't have the money up front to get that started. So no upfront fees, no monthly fees. If you're an agent, and I know in my first year, it took me two or three months to get a closing and I was paying those monthly fees, a couple hundred bucks a month. Now I'm not paying those either. So if you're a new agent or you're an agent, like I said, towards the end of your career that only does two or three transactions a year and you don't want to pay that monthly fee of 8,500, whatever the monthly fee is you're saving yourself money on that end too yeah uh, per makes perfect sense to me it does well Sean, let's talk about something uh that's kind of important to me you know this is a journey before we went to lpt um uh, i took a good solid six months you are part of my leadership council my high council that we have here on the team yep. all 10 of you guys and the one thing i did as i started doing my research on every single rev share company right on every company that also is issues stock something like a fathom right they're not really a rev share company but they do give some stock but i I had to do my due diligence to go, well, let me at least check them out. So I checked out different companies, local mom and pop. I checked out everything. Right. And then I even thought about going independent, right, for us and go, maybe that's the move to do. Um, but I did all the research. I brought it all to you guys every single time. And we and we started cutting out different brokerages, right? But what was uh, what was the, what was the big thing for you that made the move that you thought, hey, LPT is the one? And maybe talk about, like, why you didn't like some of the other ones. You know, you know, if I if I take everything together, between RevShare, stock, um, the listing power tools, the business builder and RevShare plan, the two different routes you can go within the company, you know, and, and there's several other things, but those are the big probably four I would say that really piqued my attention. They they provided value, right? Not just to me individually, but to me long-term, to building my business, to going down the road, looking in the future where I wanna go. It provided value on every aspect of my career. That is the main reason why I wanted to come here. It can help me now and it can help me later down the road. Gotcha. You know, one of the things I was a little bit afraid of with LPT is this, and I don't think I've ever shared this with you or the rest of you guys. Hit me with it. <laughs> it was pretty surprising actually. Well, being an EXP, we were making an icon team, right? And mm -hmm. so your guys' caps were $4,000. Now, depending on what the team size, your EXP could be 8,000, 
4,000. But we were 4,000. And looking at the, the plans with LPT, there was no, like, a team cap, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just the business builder or the rev share. And so I was like, all right, well, guys, you guys are going to have to go to 5,000. And so I was really surprised with as we started going down that route that everybody was actually more excited about the 5,000. Can you well, tell me why? Well, it made sense. Okay, so 4,000 to 5,000, $1,000 difference. But if I'm not paying the monthly fee of $85 a month, there's your $1,000 difference. So basically, it's the exact same as 4,000. So it, it was a complete wash. Now there's other benefits and stuff, but I mean, for the most part, it was the exact same 4,000 cap because I'm not, I'm saving in monthly fees. Now I'm also saving almost a thousand dollars a listing for all the listing power tool boxes and everything else that's given to me. But the big thing, if you want to just compare numbers, yeah. 4,000 to 5,000, that 5,000, that extra thousand dollar difference is in monthly fees. Gotcha. All right. That was interesting. I had some, I know you're one of my top producing agents on the team, but there were some other ones that actually told me personally, right? They were like, well, I would rather just pay $500 a file than for them to take 20% out and take $1,500 or two grand or take whatever out, right? They were more comfortable, especially for their families and planning for their next commission, saying, hey, I know $500 is leaving, going out, but I get to keep the rest. And it makes total sense. And I mean, you get those big commissions, like those million dollar closings where you make a good chunk of money, right? I don't want to lose two, three thousand dollars, right? You could just lose five hundred dollars, and right. you're, you're you're saving a lot of money. So, um, if you're into the luxury market, but you're not doing a ton of real estate, because a lot of luxury agents don't do a ton of real estate, they might do five or ten transactions a year. But you're only having to pay five hundred bucks on those million plus dollar listings and buys and sells. That's a lot of money right there. Yeah, ton, right? ton, <laughs> ton of money. Yeah, it still blows my mind. Some of those guys that we know that do the high-end luxury and and they're at brokerages with no cap 90 i don't even care if it's a 95 split or they're paying all those huge franchise fees on every single deal five six percent it's insane in fact there's a company i just found out about that pays six percent i went i didn't even know that and it was never ending i was talking to agent and he's paying over 70 grand because he's a high producer there over seventy thousand dollars a year yeah yeah he's coming over oh so yeah yeah saving a lot of money um yeah that, that's what LPT is all about is saving money, right? That's saving money for the agents. We're not paying those fees. We're not paying the franchise fees. We're not paying the high cap. We're not paying the no cap. We're not paying huge splits, right? If you just want to do trend transactions and you're a luxury agent and do trend transactions a year at two or $3 million, you're making a ton more money than you ever were at your other brokerage. Well, Sean, that was awesome talking with you today. I'm glad you gave me the insight, especially as a team member, you know, being on the team. Um, if more people want to, you know, find out a little bit more about LPT, how can they reach out and contact you? They can contact me by phone. Um, also, sean.lpt.com. Um, that's my website for LPT. It's got all the LPT information. As soon as you register on there, I'll get a notification and I'll send you a text or a phone call and we'll have a conversation. Pretty that's, easy. That's awesome, buddy. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll leave everything in the, in the, in the comments below exactly. so they can reach out to you and get a hold of you. Yep. All right? Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.